Here is lesson 34 for flute. We will play numbers 80 and 82. You've already read the top of the page, and you now know what first and second endings are and what an accent is. For a first and second ending, look at number 80, Mexican hat dance. The way we, we do this with the first and second endings, we start at the beginning, play all the way through to that repeat sign at the end of the first ending. We'll repeat back to the beginning. We'll play all the way up to the first ending, but we won't play the first ending. We will skip to the second ending. So the first time we're playing the song, we play that first ending, then we repeat, we're playing it the second time now. Second time, we'll skip the first and go to the second ending. Okay? And then accent. When you accent a note, it says attack the note louder. That's accurate. Um, but an accent is emphasizing a note. Okay, so for instance, if I emphasize or accent the third note, hear that difference? Okay, just a slight emphasis on it, okay? All right, let's play number 80. And one, ready. Okay, did you get the first and second ending correctly? Did you notice how I played it? If you need to go back and listen to it, do that. But make sure we understand first and second endings and accents. All right, number 82. While we are playing number 82, I want you to be thinking about playing this smoothly and connected. Make sure it's, first of all, piano, right? Doesn't go above piano dynamic. So everything is very, very soft, very smooth, very connected, it flows, very fluid. Okay? But before we play that, let me tell you about our code phrase. Our code phrase is first and second endings. Alright. Let's play number 82. And one. We're ready. Were you piano? Now, when you play piano, first of all, here's a decent B flat. When you play piano, does your B flat do this? Hear how the pitch sounds lower? Because you're slowing your air down. Remember, dynamics for a flute are about how open your aperture is. That's that's probably a forte B flat. Now, piano. See how much smaller that is? That's what we're looking for. And my pitch was the same, pretty close. Haven't warmed up well yet. Okay, so make sure that your pitch stays the same, doesn't go flat. Hey, we've talked about using a tuner. You know how to use a tuner on smart music. You should know how to use a real tuner. So get that and see where you are. Okay, that was lesson 34. Thanks for joining me.